All right, well, what you're looking at is where the soapstone carving process all begins here at Indian Trail Carvings. Uh, Keith, tell me a little bit about uh, the room that we're looking at. Oh, uh, this is where I do all my uh, cutting. You'll take a block of stone, cut up what you need in the dimensions you need, and I have a big bandsaw there to cut up the big stuff, and then yeah. I have a smaller bandsaw to do the finer work. Right, because how can how big can some of the pieces of soapstone be when they come to you? I get them up to 300 pounds. <laughs> exactly. So they can be big. Right, and, and so then you might cut them down into a square like this. Yeah, you can do that. That's and then one. from there... I draw out a pattern, trace out a pattern, and I carve it out in a little bandsaw, right. and that's what you get. And what will uh, this little piece that's in my hand, what will it ultimately be? That's, what, that's an elephant. It'll be an elephant. Yep. And how do you get these grooves into it? The bandsaw. Yeah, the bandsaw also. Yep. yep. Isn't that hard to, to, to no, create something? No, you can onto it. It's a little hard on blades. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> All right, well, let's continue because it's not just soapstone that you work with. Tell me about this massive totem pole. Okay, this is a piece of pine. Uh, you can see there's lots of holes and stuff in it, and I had it. There's actually there's another piece under there. Mm -hmm. This was one piece. And uh, there was a little crook in it, so I thought I'd better make two sections of a totem pole. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is the raven. This will, there'll be a mask I'll carve in here, mm -hmm. and there'll be copper in for the eyes. How long will it take you from start to finish? Well, this has this been guy? going on for a year and a half. I just <laughs> I work on this when I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> okay, okay. So not necessarily a request no, from someone. No. So if I had a massive log in my property, would you carve it into a totem pole? Thing? Oh, for sure. Really? We do that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so here is one of the best parts about the shop. Not only can you see where all of the magic begins, but also the finished pieces. I love the gift shop. What's your favorite piece? The fish. The fish. These fish. Yep. These fish. Why are they your favorite? I don't know. It's one of the first ones I did. And uh, I like the colors. Why is one fish green? It's the stone. Really? It's <laughs> not just... actually a separate piece? It is. They're all, it's all, the, the only block in the center, that's one piece. And yeah. the other two fish are, are, are separate. Very neat. Yeah, that's gorgeous. My father would love that. How long does that take you? Uh, I can't really, I don't keep track of the hours. I work on different things. So it would, I don't know, 30, 40 hours. Yeah, easily. Quite a bit. And then I think I picked out my favorite piece. It's this bowl. How did you, how did you get it so perfectly circular? Okay, I didn't do this. I have it done. Okay. And, uh, it's, it's done on a lathe and it's, it's Brazilian soapstone. Yeah. Huh. That's very cool. Very delicate, though. Yep. So if you were to drop it, it's going to shatter, isn't it? Well, probably. <laughs> and then uh, before we go, tell me about where your passion for carving horses comes from. I just like to do stuff with my hands. And since we started this, I've met some wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Wonderful people. And you can't, I'm doing something I love. And at my age, if you can do that, you're a winner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you'll actually, in a few weeks, have a drum making course, yes. right? Yes, yes. We have a fella coming, a Ojibwe man, comes from uh, Owen Sound. Right. And we start right with a wooden frame, and one day we make a drum. Right. And, and I, I know that you mentioned that you're going to be offering knife-making courses as well, but that'll be held by someone else who's teaching the people. Yes. Why do you want to give other people the opportunity to, to use your space to teach people? Oh, this fella is uh, a very n nice young man, mm -hmm. and uh, he's starting out, and uh, he knows his stuff. Yeah. So let's bring him in. And Leave it to those who Back know. To, let, the, let the pros have it. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Thank Thanks you so much out. for having us here today. Head to the Indian Trail Carvings website and uh, check out when some of their next classes are coming up because you too can learn how to make these gorgeous carvings.